During a launch event for Daimler's new Cascadia, company president Martin Dom explained that over the past six years, Daimler has earned more than $9 billion on sales from more than 60,000 Cascadia trucks to just 12 of the largest and most successful fleets in North America. He punctuated the comment by saying fleets don't spend that kind of money just because the truck maker has a funny and charming CEO. He's right, of course. Fleets buy Cascadias because the trucks make money. There's a lesson there for owner-operators. Here for the ultimate test drive, we're in Las Vegas with this brand new New Cascadia from Freightliner. During the New Cascadia launch event last fall in Colorado, Freightliner emphasized the truck's fuel economy potential. That's where we're going with this video. So we're just pulling back onto I-15 southbound from uh, Cedar Brook exit, exit 18 here in Arizona, and we're heading through the Virgin River Canyon. Freightliner has really optimized this truck for fuel efficiency. We highlighted some of the new aero treatments back in our first video. This truck has a vertically integrated powertrain from Daimler. That includes a GHG-17 compliant 400 horsepower DD-15 engine making 1,750 pound-feet of torque. There's also a DT-12 transmission and Detroit drive axles with a 2.28 to 1 ratio. The transmission and drive axles offer a few fuel-saving tricks of their own, including highly polished gear faces to reduce friction. The programming that runs the engine in the transmission is version 4 of Detroit's Intelligent Powertrain Management System, known as IPM4. Detroit says they set out to improve the already respectable fuel economy of the Cascadia Evolution model by 5%, but extensive testing showed engineers achieved an 8% gain over the Evolution. So you can see the hill we're going up here, it's 3 or 4%. Uh, I've got the crew set for 65 and coming up that hill, we only dropped about three or four mile an hour. And I'm sure that wasn't just because the engine couldn't manage the hill, but it was uh, climbing the hill at a more fuel efficient speed than it was rolling out full power to get up the hill. But the uh, advantage of the intelligent powertrain management system is that it fuels the engine only as much as it needs to, uh, to get you up the hill. In a lot of cases, it'll give up a few RPM climbing a hill uh, compared to what it otherwise could do. But uh, you give up a few RPM going up the hill, you're going to make it up coming down the other side where you get all that free energy from gravity. So it may take a little bit of getting used to going slower up the hill than you'd like. Maybe having some of your buddies pass you on the hill and going, ah, ah, ah why are you taking so long? Well, I always said, it's not who gets to the bank first, but who gets there with the most money in their pocket. So when uh, with a hill climbing strategy like this one has, uh, yeah, you're going to lose a couple of mile an hour, but you're going to make it up in fuel savings for sure. So how is it on fuel? It's impossible to tell with this type of test drive, but the dash display at various times on flat ground was showing between 9 and 11 miles per gallon. That's probably not accurate. It's just a little flash in time. Uh, but the trip average so far, including a ton of idling that we've been doing on this little photo shoot so far, because uh, it's so hot out here, you can't stop and do any shooting inside the truck with the engine off. Our trip average is 7.3. So again, here we go, level ground, bit of a headwind, and it's showing 10 miles per gallon. A lot of big successful fleets will buy a lot of these trucks because of the fuel savings. Owner-operators, of course, can take advantage of those savings too. IPM4 does a heck of a job with power management and shifting strategies, and it'll spend an awful lot more time than you'd think in e-coast. That's just free rolling with no fuel going into the engine. For the Ultimate Test Drive, I'm Equipment Editor Jim Park on the road outside Las Vegas. Drive safe and keep those revs down.